Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and I am happy to share with you the 10 Most Unwanted list. So introduced on March 14, 1950, the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitive list was the brainchild of then-FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. The goal was simple. In hopes that publicity and public awareness would lead to arrests, the FBI listed the names of 10 fugitives that it considered to be the most potentially dangerous, the ones whose criminal behavior made them a true menace to society. Their crimes included bank robbery, terrorism, drug trafficking, money laundering, espionage, and murder, as well as the latest evolution in criminal behavior, cybercrime. So you may be asking yourself, what on earth does the FBI's most wanted list have to do with you and your performance? While criminals are not one of my marketing demographics, I do want to use this message to focus in on what I call criminal behavior. More specifically, on certain aspects of behavior and why these unwanted negative behaviors need to be locked up and put away. So say hello to the 10 most unwanted list. Now let's define what I mean by criminal behavior and identify the behaviors that make this undignified list possible. So criminal behavior is any act that violates forward progress, any act that undermines self-esteem, that compromises your reputation and character, that decreases your earning ability and which negatively impacts your relationships, your future, your quality of life, and your overall peace of mind. And in a moment's reflection, we'll validate this argument. See, if the goal is to live a life of excellence, to unleash your greatness, and to consistently move the needle forward, then it's absolutely criminal to do anything less than your best. See, it really is a criminal act to dishonor commitments, to be late and unprepared, to not follow through, and to say one thing and then wind up doing another. The fact is, lying is deliberate and calculated deception. Greed is a repulsive, bottomless pit of selfishness. Debt and overspending in prison enslave and extort your peace of mind and future growth. Gossip is an emotional cancer that is practiced by the weak and which preys on others' misfortune. Apathy, procrastination, and laziness are all forms of behavioral rot. Laziness only succeeds in creating bad luck, wasting talent, and perpetuating failure. Excuses are nothing more than reasons for failure and lame attempts at justifying underperformance. Negativity and sarcasm are petty thieves that steal happiness and joy. Resistance to change is a choice that sentences you to obsolescence, to irrelevancy, and even to failure. To the greatest form of criminal behavior, the primary weapon of mass destruction, the one that undermines more lives, that abuses more marriages, and which destroys more careers, is neglect. See, neglect is the act of failure. It is not caring for or paying attention to something or someone. And when you neglect or simply demonstrate indifference to your health, to your money, your personal development, etiquette, and relationships, they quickly begin to deteriorate. They take on the look and the feel of a shabby, run-down, dilapidated building on the bad side of town. And for those who are tempted to justify neglect, or who like to think that they can talk their way out of criminal behavior, you must heed these words. You cannot talk yourself out of a problem that you behaved yourself into. You can only behave yourself out of a problem that you behaved yourself into. I have a very simple philosophy on life and success, and that is, you shouldn't steal from yourself. Yet that is exactly what we're all guilty of doing when we engage in any unhealthy and unprofitable behavior. If you're going to commit your life to excellence, to wealth creation, the security and financial well-being of your family, and if other people include your staff, your team, your spouse, and your children are going to commit their lives to you, then you owe it to yourself and to everyone else to get the highest, the best, and the most consistent results possible. And this can only be achieved by behavioral excellence. In other words, on being on your best behavior at all times. And learning how to do just that and to operate from a position of excellence Check out the 100 Day Challenge at 100daychallenge.com and make it the very next thing you do.